In this video, I will be teaching you how to find the nth term of a geometric sequence and the geometric mean. So let's take for example, we have this sequence 3, 6, 12, 24, and 48, and so on. So this uh, sequence is having a pattern of multiplying by 2. 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24, and 12, 24 times 2 is 48. So that means this sequence is a geometric sequence. And uh, we let's label these terms. So we have a sub 1, our first term, a sub 2, 3, 4, and 5. So there are 5 terms given, but there are actually infinitely many terms because it has comma and 3 dots. It means it continues infinitely. And let's say we're going to find the uh, 8th term of this geometric sequence. So finding that... Uh, term is not that hard as long as you know the common ratio so the common ratio for this give for this problem is um, 2 so because we just keep on multiplying 2 to generate the sequence and so let's just continue the 48 so we have 48 times 2 is 96 96 times 2 is 192 so we have the um, sixth and seventh and then times 2, the 192, you will get the 8th term, which is 384. And that's the 8th term. And that's not hard to find. But how about if you're tasked to find the 20th term? It sounds like it's easy because it's only the 20th term. But remember, this is not arithmetic sequence. We really just have to keep on adding. But this is geometric sequence where you keep on multiplying numbers. That means it will keep on bigger and bigger. It will rapidly become a big number. So 20th term is kind of really, really big number. Since we're still in 8th term and it's already 384. And so to find the 20th term or to find big uh, numbers or further terms, we need to... Uh, identify or determine the general formula to find the uh, last term of a geometric sequence. So that means we're going to find the a sub n or the general formula for geometric sequence. So let us derive the formula. So again this is the sequence and we have this first up to the fifth terms and the common ratio is 2. And then um, the a sub 1 or the first term it is the same as 3 times 1 because it's just itself but considering the common ratio 2 so we can just say that it's 2 to, to, 2 to the power of 0 because any number to the power of 0 is 1 so that is the same as 3 times 1 so 3 times 2 to the power of 0 for the second term it is 3 times 2 which is 6 or the 2 can be written as 2 to the power of 1 for the third term, it will be 3 times 2 times 2, which is the same as 3 times 2 squared. And then the fourth term is can be written as 3 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 3 times 2 cubed, or 2 to the power of 3. And the fifth term is 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's 2 to the power of 4. And what have you observed with this uh, pattern? So if this is if this n is one and the exponent is zero, so we just remove one. If the n is two, then the exponent becomes one. If n is three, then the exponent becomes two, or just subtract one. N is four, exponent is three, and if n is five, the exponent becomes four. So uh, the relationship between these two is just simply subtracting one for whatever is n and put it as the exponent. So that means the general formula to find a sub n is the first term times common ratio to the power of n minus 1. So let us solve now this sequence where we have this um, a while ago and we are just to find the 20th term. So let us now 
use the formula, general formula to find the geometric or the last term of a geometric sequence. So let us substitute. We have n is 20. The first term is 3 and the common ratio is 2. So it becomes 3 times 2 to the power of 20 minus 1. And then let us subtract the exponent. 20 minus 1 is 19. And then let us get the value of 2 to the power of 19. So that will be 524,288. Then multiply it with 3. It will be uh, the A sub 20 or the 20th term is 1,572,864. So let's try another one. We have this sequence. So this sequence is generated by multiplying by... 3, 1 times 3 is 3, 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 3 is 27, 27 times 3 is 81. And we're going to look for the 15th term. So the common ratio of this is 3 because it's times 3 to generate the pattern or to generate the sequence. So let's look for the 15th term using the formula, general formula. So let's substitute 15, uh, n by 15 and a sub 1 or the first term to be 1 and the uh, common ratio is 3 so it is now 1 times 3 to the power of 15 minus 1 so let us subtract the exponent 15 minus 1 it will be now 14 and let us get the value of 3 to the power of 14 it will be 4,782,969 and multiplied by 1 so any number multiplied by 1 is just itself so the 15th term is 4,782,969. So let's uh, talk about geometric mean. And what is geometric mean of the sequence? So geometric mean are, those, are numbers which are in between the terms of the geometric sequence. So like for example, the 6. It is a geometric mean between 3 and 12 because it's in between the terms 3 and 12. Also, 12 and 24, they are geometric means between 6 and 48 because simply 12 and 24 are in between 6 and 48. Also, 6, 12, and 24 are geometric means between 3 and 48. So any number can be a geometric mean as long as they are in between the two terms from the geometric sequence. So let's say for example we're just to find the geometric means of this sequence. So we have three geometric means missing in between 8 and 648. So since it's assumed that it's geometric means, so that means this sequence is a geometric sequence. There is a common ratio. And it's easy to find the geometric mean if we know the common ratio. And that's the challenge for us to find the, the common ratio of this geometric sequence. And so we're given with the first term 8 in the last term or the fifth term 648. So let us use a general formula. So let us substitute. The n will be 5. So it becomes a sub 5 equals the first term times r to the 5, to the 5 minus 1. Substitute a sub 5 which is 648 and first term is 8 r to the 5 minus 1. Then, uh, subtract the exponent. It will be 5 minus 1, 4. So it becomes now r to the 4th power. Then divide both by 8. So it will be now r to the 4th is equal to 81. Then, um, we're going to solve for r, but we have an exponent 4. So what to do with that is to get the 4th root of both sides. So, 4th root of 81 and 4th root of r to the 4th. So, we did we did this because 4th um, root of any number to the power of 4 is just uh, itself or the number. Because the 4th four, root and the 4 exponent it will be cancelled. So, r is equal to the 4th root of 81 is 3. So, why is 4th root of 81 is, that is 3? Because 3 to the power of 4 is 81. Or 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 81 so that is the fourth root of 81 
So now since we know the common ratio, which is 3, we can now get the geometric mean. So 8 times 3 is 24. 24 times 3 is 72. 72 times 3 is 216. That is the geometric means. So let's have another example. We have this fill in the missing terms. So here's the sequence. We'll just assume that it is a geometric sequence because our topic is geometry. Uh, geometric mean. So we're going to find uh, the geometric mean between 16 and 1024 and also we're going to find uh, the missing uh, first term and the last second term. Now we have a problem here because the first term is not given although the last term is given its sixth term 1024 and it's hard for us to solve because we there are two missing the common ratio and the first term. And our target is to know the common ratio. And to know the common ratio, the first term must be given. So if it's like this, you need to relabel. So we're going to relabel. The first term will be now the 16. That means we are just, we're going to assume that we're going to remove the, we're assuming that the 16 is the first term. So that means we remove the, the, the two terms before 16. So we're just having four terms given so the sixth term will be now the fourth term and so we can solve now for the, the common ratio using the general formula so let's substitute n by 4 and then let's substitute further so a sub 4 the last term will be 1024 first term is 16 and then we're gonna subtract 4 minus 1 will be which will be 3 or the cube r cube then divide both by 16. So let's copy it first and then divide by 16. Then uh, 1024 divided by 16 is 64. Then since it is our cube, then that means we will get the cube root of both sides. So cube root of 64 is 4 because 4, four cube is 64 or 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. So R is equal to 4, or the common ratio is, is 4. So now we can get the geometric means. 16 times 4 is 64. 64 times 4 is 256. And the missing terms before 16, we can get that by doing the opposite operation. Instead of times, we will divide. 16 divided by 4 is 4, and 4 divided by 4 is 1. So that is how you get the geometric means. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.